let me ask you about the film. I mean, what was it about this this story that, that interested you when you first? Or did you know about it beforehand? No, really, no. I mean, I guess there would have been a court case. I don't quite remember it, but a good script. Good people in it. I thought it would work out okay as a script, as a film, as a film. Um, what was it about? Talk about the character. I mean, did you do much research? A lot of the guys have been talking about, you know, going back and reading stuff. Just stayed away from it. No, I don't need to. I never do. If I can possibly avoid it, it's laziness, really. If I can possibly avoid it, I won't do it. And I didn't need to because, although it was a real guy you were playing, it wasn't as if a billion people were going to phone up and say, he's, I know him and he's not like that. Uh, so, um, you know, you didn't, you didn't have to do that. So, uh, I just thought the story itself you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have the sort of proper momentum for people to enjoy themselves. Yeah, a great cast as well, uh, seasoned actors of Timothy Spall and Rachel Weisz. Must have been great to be in amongst those guys as well. Yeah, yeah, good people. Tim, I, well, I didn't have much to do with Tim except just cross her. Rachel, I was nice to meet her. She was fantastically nice to work with and she's an interesting woman. Had you been to Auschwitz before? Because obviously you go there in the film. Had you been oh. there before? What was, that, what was that experience like? A well, it's extraordinary. Experience. Well, it, it, it provokes all sorts of contradictory thoughts in you, and not least of which is incomprehension. What you're not prepared for is the actual size of the place. You know, I sort of had it in my mind that th these places were like sort of small barracks, you know, but of course, if you're going to set out for this industrial, you know, killing then uh, you of course you need some and it was like a small town I mean it'd take 20 minutes half an hour to drive around. millions and millions of you know well certainly thousands and thousands of huts and uh, stuff it's incomprehensible it's incomprehensible and baffling and if you haven't been you must go and you will know what I mean no, there is no sort of straightforward answer to it. Uh, let me ask you about working with Mick Jackson, a fellow Brit. What was it like to work for him as a, as a director? Because he's so, so well-seasoned, I guess. Yeah, yeah, talent. he's good. I like him. Oh. <laughs> Mick Jackson is the best director I have ever worked with. I love him. Uh, yeah, it was, he was good. He's good. I mean, basically what you do, it's great working with directors. But directors, when, you meet, when you're working with them on the set, very rarely say, guys, we're going to do it this way. And you go, oh my god, he's right. That never happens. They just shoot it. The, the, how directors work, how, the thing is, it's what they do when the actors have gone home. And he did a good job. So, I mean, it isn't, they never on set are inspiring or anything like that. Never ever. Uh, the good directors, and most of them I've ever worked with are good. Once they've cast you, uh, they leave you alone. Very rarely do they bugger you around. Very, very rarely. It's the work they do afterwards. The cutting, the music, all that kind of stuff. That's the real work on a movie. Listen, I enjoyed the movie. Um, fantastic. And thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.